in this video I want to go over how to write or find the center how to find the center C and the radius R now this is from exercise 4D of your textbook okay so this is question 4 and this is question 4A so let's write that in the center radius form so let me write the center radius form the center radius form is x minus h the whole squared plus y minus k the whole squared is equal to r squared where the center is h comma k and the radius is r so the radius is r so let's use Let's see whether we can write this in that format. Okay, so so let's say so we'll rewrite this. So this is x squared plus y squared minus six y minus sixteen is equal to zero. So I'm going to move this minus sixteen to this side. So this is x squared plus y squared minus six y is equal to 16. I'll leave a gap here. Now I have to do the completing the square method to make it a perfect square. So if you remember what we do is you do the half of the coefficient of y or x and then square it. So the half of negative 6 is negative 3 and then the square uh, this is I, I'll write this as negative 3 squared and negative 3 squared so this is negative 3 squared so this this so negative 3 squared is basically 9 I have added 9 on this side so I'll add 9 on this side so it will make a so this will become the right hand side and this whole thing is going to be a perfect square so I can rewrite now this same equation as x squared plus y minus 3 the whole squared is equal to 25 which is 5 squared so while well, writing in the standard form this is x minus 0 the whole squared plus y minus 3 the whole squared is equal to 5 squared so we can say the center is 0 comma 3 0 comma 3 and the radius is 5. Okay, so we can also check whether this is right using a calculator. So this is a graph menu. So you can enter the equation. So you can go menu, uh, edit, and under edit there is an option called relation. So we know it is x squared uh, plus uh, y squared let me delete this y squared uh, minus 6y minus 16 equal to 0 and press enter so that's your center so you can see the center is 0, 3. So you can also count this as 1, 2, 3. And the radius is uh, 5. So if you count from the center, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's look at the next question. Uh, okay, so the next question is x squared. Uh, so let me rewrite in a proper order. x squared minus 8x. I'll leave a gap here plus y squared I'm rearranging in a particular way plus 12y I'll leave a gap here plus something is equal to minus 10 so what I've done is I basically moved this 10 to the other side and I'm going to do completing square so well completing square so here you do the half of negative 8 is negative 4 so I'm going to write plus negative 4 squared 
So I have written 16 on this side, so I had to write plus 16 on this side. So basically you're adding 16 on both sides. Then the half of 12 is 6, so this is plus 6 squared. So this is 6 squared. And so I have to do the same thing, plus 36 on the other side. So now this changes to x minus 4 the whole squared plus y plus 6 the whole squared is equal to how much? So this is 52 minus 10 which is 42. 42 is same as, uh, can I say, square root of 42 the whole squared. So I'm writing this in the center radius form. So let me re rewrite one more step. So this is x minus 4 the whole squared plus y minus minus 6 the whole squared is equal to square root of 42 the whole squared. So well, the center is 4 comma negative 6 and the radius is square root of 42. So we know square root of 36 is 6, square root of 49 is 7, so this is around 6 point something, whatever that is. So this is the center, 4 comma minus 6 is the center, and the radius is 6 point something.